Our next guest is a best-selling author. He's one of America's top health and fitness experts. He's got half a million YouTube subscribers, one and a half million Facebook fans. Don't let him show you his abs because guys, it'll make you sick. It's pretty special <laughs> in a very platonic kind of way. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Brandon Parter. Speakers, I'm the least articulate, interesting, or smart, right? But I am bald. I'm bald, out of control, right? And I'm gonna show you how you can, that's a goal of mine, to ball out of control. And I accomplish that, and I'm gonna show you how to accomplish it. If you ball out, how, how many of y'all like a ball? How many of y'all like a ball? Oh. Yeah. Right. So a little something about myself. Uh, my name is Brandon Carter. Is this your name, Bro, you gotta turn it on. Alright, see what I'm saying? If I can do this shit, <laughs> it's gonna be easy for y'all. Look here. So I'm a uh, multi million dollar business, pro laboratory, supplement company. Uh, we're gonna live in this first, this is the second year, we grossed over a million dollars, so there's that. Um, best selling author of three. Books that were both, all three of them were on Amazon's bestseller list. All right, and uh, these were pretty much literary masterpieces <laughs> <laughs> that have further cemented my status as an expert in the fitness industry. Uh, everyone loves them. <laughs> they're killing. Mm -hmm. they're on Amazon, they're killing. Uh, you know. Millions of dollars, accolades, critical acclaim. That's cool. What I'm most proud of is the fact that it's been two years since the last time I was arrested. <laughs> and that might not be a big deal to y'all, but to me, that was some real, <laughs> that's some real shit. All right, so, ball. I want to fucking ball. Contrary to popular beliefs, I've not always been ball, right? Despite what you may have heard. <laughs> You guys, how many of you are from New York? You know when you get off the train and some guy say, hey man, hey big man, big man, big man, big man, big swipe, big swipe, right? He's asking that because y'all aren't familiar. Uh, he's asking that because you have an unlimited, he's presuming you have an unlimited car and he can let you on three as he's getting off. That was me. I had two dollars to ride the goddamn train not too long ago. And I went from being that guy to ball. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's not, it's, it, I did that in, I, 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 I wasn't happy with myself when I was that guy. Begging people for a swipe. I wanted the ball, man. I wanted the ball. So to, in order to go from the guy who didn't have $2 to ride the fucking F train to all went out of control, I had to make a transformation. How many of y'all want more money? Put your hand up. How many of y'all want more money? You want more money, bro? I'll put it on. I'll put it on. I'll put it on. All right, so for me going from the guy who had $2 to ride a train, real talk, to balling, I had to make a transformation. That's how people's primes blurry. Like I said, I'm not that smart. <laughs> when you're making the transformation, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know the steps, you'd be dangerous. You get yourself hurt. So what I'm trying to, I want to give you guys the steps. But I have five essential steps to accomplishing any goal. Alright, I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you the five steps what I use to go from broke to balling in a short amount of time. And you can apply that to any goal you have you set out for yourself. Uh, I'll give you a framework. And then at the end, I'll give you some information for you to touch me. Is that cool, John? Is that cool, John? You want to hear that? Yeah, Bet. All right, so <laughs> step, number, step number one make a firm decision. All right? There's a difference between making a firm decision and just being you know, interested. You know, interested, right? Imagine if you see two people 
you married, and you say, hey, let me take this woman, be a lawful, lawful, lawfully what it like, wife, to have in the home, to death in the party. God's like, I'm interested. I mean, you gotta make a firm decision. You gotta be about that, right? Um, I'm gonna tell you how it's gotta be a firm decision that you cannot back down from. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story about when I made the decision to go from broke to balling. Uh, I was back home in Chicago, where I'm from, and I went home because it was, there was an emergency. My sister bought me a ticket to go home. But I, she said it was some sort of emergency. So I'm at home with my mom, and we get knocked at the door. It's the police department. It's two detectives wearing plain clothes, and they said, uh, Mr. Carter, well, uh, can we come in? I said, yeah. And then they asked me and my mom to have a seat. And they explained to me they just found my father down at the bottom, holding in the head. My mom panics. She goes hysterical. She, Starts crying on the floor in front of you, you know. Okay. And then that was the moment I said, you know what? Being a guy who can't afford to ride the train is no longer going to cut it. Now I have to take care of my mother. I have to take care of my sister. I have to take care of her kid. You know, now I am in charge. So I had to make it. So that was that's how I made the firm decision, right? And I, I couldn't back down from that. Now. Hopefully, you guys don't have a situation, a situation that's as drastic as that, right? But you still have to approach it with that sort of intensity, right? Because that's the only way you're not going to back down. Otherwise, you're going to back down since it's tough. It's going to be tough as hell, you know? Like, you got to make a firm decision. You can't back down. <laughs> can't go back. So you all laughing. Look at that. But that's a firm decision. <laughs> you can't change your mind once you do that. Some of you guys are scared to wear a shirt or buy certain kind of shoes because you're afraid someone, someone might think. This say well, this she, she got she even still she got more balls than some people. You know? That's a firm decision. <laughs> you know? That is step number two. You gotta build habits. We all we repeatedly do. Excellence. It's not an act. It's a habit. Aristotle said that, so that's how I know that's what's up. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do a habit. You become what you become do consistently. So if, like, I was a person trained for a long time, since I was 19, and I was trained, I've trained hundreds of people. And then, you know, you start training someone, you look, oh, you know, I ate a salad for lunch yesterday. You know, you, oh yeah, congratulations, asshole. You can tell me it's not. Right, you gotta do, now if you're in a caloric deficit for 12 weeks, burning more calories than you consume, ah, and then, then you'll see results. That's something you can brag about, right? But doing something once is almost nothing, right? You gotta come to one conference, read one book, and then you're gonna be successful. You're gonna work on your book, you're gonna work on your business once in a while. Nah, man, you gotta do that consistently, you gotta be on it. Like, oh, that was for the salad joke. <laughs> Good habits are hard to develop, but easy to live with, right? Bad habits are easy to build, but really difficult to live with. So how do you build good habits? What do you need to build good habits? Step number three, discipline. You need discipline. Um, so to build a, uh, for instance, those of you following me on Snapchat, Killer Carter 187. Killer Carter 187. Killer Carter 187. You follow me on Snapchat, Killer Carter 187. You know, you see me waking up at 4.30, 5 a.m., and running. Right? That's discipline. It's, it, it's, it gets easier the more I do it because discipline, if you do it consistently, it builds habits. And then now, once I get in the habit of doing something like that, when I get in the habit of working out every day, I no longer need the discipline. It's all automatic. Like, most of you guys don't have to think too hard about brushing your teeth every day, right? But then when you were a kid, you would forget, and you were like, all types of stuff. Like, I'm just like, well, at least I do. Motivation. Bullshit. People always ask me, yo, man, how, how, do I, how do you stay so motivated? How do I get motivated? I mean, I can do it, but I'm not motivated. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> 
when a patient comes in his own with his sleep, it's undependable. It's not something you can depend on, right? Uh, but you can depend on this one, right? A lot of you guys want to leave here motivated, fired up, ready to go. But then what? It's going to go. It's going to go, right? Especially when things get hard, right? But you've got to discipline, you persevere, you fight through it. That's the only way. You gotta have discipline. Motivation is cool, it's a plus, but it's not something you depend on. Motivation means you're excited about it. You can't wait to do it. You feel like you're fired up. Discipline means you do what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, when you feel like it or not. It's way different. So, fuck motivation. And make a plan. You discipline enough to make a plan. Alright. Let's say we get out of here and, you know, uh, there was an Asian girl with the glasses. She's kind of hot. Let me say I start talking to her and I don't see her right now. And then we get, and then we decide to drive to Miami together, right? Uh, what if I don't make a plan with Miami? I just get in the car and say, you know what, let's just start driving. Maybe this highway will take it there. I'll take this exit. I'll drive here. I'll turn here. What's the likelihood of us getting to, to Miami? It's very slim. But if we make a plan, or at least just put the address in the GPS, the plan will be there for us. Every twist and turn, we want to make it, it'll be right, it'll be laid out, the likelihood increases dramatically. You gotta make a plan, you gotta write it out. That's me writing something. I was probably looking like I was about to, I look like a murder plan. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't execute it. <laughs> Now, you gotta make a plan. The way you make the plan is, it's, it's, not, it's real simple. It's really, you don't have to get no business plan software. I mean, it's better if you do it right more, but you can do it the simplest way. This is how I make a plan. I started, all my business is like this. Right? That's, like I said, I'm kind of smart as time, so I just do the best I can what I have. I just write out the goal, write out everything I think I need to accomplish that goal. Put it in order. Put deadlines for each step. There you go, that's it. And start knocking out the step relentlessly. Go hard on your step. If you don't have, I'll take that. I'll take a plan like that on a notebook, on a piece of notebook paper, versus the smartest guy in the world who's just doing random shit. Because random matches get you random results. You gotta work your plan and plan your work. So the, the guy before me said, uh, people don't fail to plan, they plan, they plan to fail. Yeah. Yeah. See, see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> Step number five or six. I know there's only, I know I said only five or six. I'm like the over deliver. I'm over achieving. <laughs> you gotta track your results and make adjustments accordingly. Alright, so for instance, when I would train someone, what I would do is we write down everything they eat, everything they put in their mouth falls, how much water they drink, how much they sleep. Right? The, how many hours they sleep a night? Every breath of every set, how much, how long they get cardio? And then, every, we do that every day. And then at the end of the week, we take their measurements, their weight, so you can make progress. And if not, we can manipulate the variables until we get the desired effect. And we continue to do that. That's why my clients get results faster than, you know, some guys just say, hey, maybe I'm just gonna, maybe I'll live this way. And, uh, that machine was cool, I'll do some bitch press. You know, you're doing some random, you're gonna get random results. We can track all the variables and make adjustments accordingly, right? Because you might have your plan laid out, but that don't mean you're gonna, you don't, you don't know everything. Everybody has a plan to get punched in the face, right? Once you get punched in the face, all right? Oh, you see, you got that nice overhand right, and you know, I need to keep my guard up a little bit, you know? You, you just adjust accordingly. You're gonna make a lot more progress doing that. So I think I got one more mindset to put. I'll take one or two questions real quick before I give you the last step. Anybody got questions or that's cool, I can just go. What's up? What do you think the future of Pro Laboratories? Pro Laboratories? Um, that's my coming in. What the future of Pro Laboratories is. Uh, yeah, man. Put it on the man. Seal your attentions. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a protein coming out uh, next month. We just released uh, BCAAs. We just released a, a coffee before that. We got our own coffee. Fire. Fire. Yeah, it's not coffee, it's fire. You know? 
coffee fight. And coffee fight, the base pictures. This is like a warrior. Somebody else had a question? Now, we all, there's always contingency plans, but see, okay, here's the thing. The, the plans are more like routes, right? But the goal doesn't change. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think they had a plan for if they lost World War II, right? Well, maybe we'll live with the Nazis and we can figure it out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was probably a backup plan if he gave it work, you know? But it was still, like, to win. The plan is always, it's always victory. It's always about victory. You know, they just told me to keep going because some, some shit's going, so I'll take some more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? So you were broke when I was broke, how did I know when to go into the fitness industry? Nah, you know what, man? I thought I was gonna be a, all my life I thought I was gonna be a professional musician, man. I played guitar, keyboard, drums, right? Like, I thought I was gonna be, if you, if you, go, if you go on YouTube and write a brand new art acoustic cover, you're gonna see some fucking badass guitar playing, right? And, uh, and you know, it's like, I get the feeling, you know, like you, I too am good at many things, <laughs> and it's hard to pick one. So, um, I was reading a book, a really good book called Deep Work, right? And, huh? Yeah. And what you do is, <laughs> when you said, and this is kind of what I did, but unconsciously, right? Like, well, I was forced to make a decision. It's um, economic viability, right? What do you, you take what you love? What you're good at, and you know, another little circle for the background. And, you know, and where, where they meet, what's going on? Okay, what you love, what you're good at, and then the one on top, what people will pay you for. Right? Guitars, guitars are. How many of y'all play guitar? <laughs> yeah, man, a bunch of y'all. Just a brand new group of people. Almost everyone in their role plays guitar. <laughs> but it's not everybody who knows as much about fitness as me. Not, you know, unless they follow me. They got educated. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what, what people are paying for. Yeah. Uh, you first. You have to raise hands, hand, I'm going to pick him because he's black. Sorry. You next. This is a short suit, though. And when you go to the land, you want to put your content on YouTube. Like, like, how did that go? How did that transition go? Where you're like, you know what? I might just want to go ahead. Uh -huh. so, and how did it unfold? It was really like people kept asking for fitness advice, so I just wanted a place to send them where I so I didn't have to talk to them. No, yeah, I was supposed to do I just didn't want to talk to them. <laughs> Funny how the person's all up on the now. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> you can look you can look at my page if you go to you. We got like yeah, I'm fine, you, but oh, now you, see, you see, you have 60 million views total. Yeah, half, half, half a million subscribers. I don't know when the first YouTube when the video was. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, what tips do you have when you're when you're working on multiple projects at mm. one time, and uh, how do you focus? Uh, what he said his question was, what tips do you have when you're working on multiple projects at one time? How do you focus? Don't do that. Yep. You don't do that, right? Like I, it's um. It's a real good book called Deep Work. I just finished it. And, um, anyway, you just want to focus, man. Like, so everything you did, I, I, every, like when I was writing my last book, I shut everything out, right? So I finished that, right? Like I, I just did a, a, a mastermind in, L, in LA on my, my own mastermind. And I had people come down and charge like $500 and a bunch of guys came through and it was dope. But I, didn't, I wasn't really focused on anything else while I was doing that. And what you do is I plan for that. So like I have to release a video every day. So I told so me and my team get to get this many videos done because I ain't doing shit else but speaking the next two days, you know. So it's just one, one thing at a time, man. Like I think Ty earlier said the guy with like two rabbits uh, don't get no dinner or something like that. <laughs> 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 What does what does uh, discipline like look to you? Like I know you talk about discipline that's important, but like day to day, like what does discipline mean to you? Uh, 
Right. For me, discipline is, is, is really doing what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it, whether you feel like it or not. Right? I mean, that's, that's, that's the literal definition. And it's, my, my, I, it's going to be different for everyone because what you're supposed to do is going to be different than what I'm supposed to do. But it's really like, man, you got to, here's the thing, the more you develop discipline, the more confident you, you will be. Right? I'm up here talking to 700 people like it's nothing. Right? And it's not because I think I'm so cool or so good at, at speaking because I'm not. I kind of suck at this. But <laughs> the reason I'm able to do it is I, 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 I just believe in what I'm capable of. Like even if this was a flop, I know that I, I know that I can go out and accomplish other things, you know? So it, let me ask you a question. You discipline in the dictionary, it, one, of, one of the definitions somewhere is firm trust, right? If, if your parent, right, dad, mom or dad, said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cook dinner when I get home. And, and then you went home and there was no dinner, and that happened week after week, every day for weeks. How, how much would you believe, you know, what kind of faith would you have in dinner being home? You know, you, you start to lose faith, you start to lose confidence in her ability to give you dinner every night, right? I'm assuming you're a kid, right? Not an adult. Um, that's, how, that's how it is with yourself, right? If you stop keeping, if you don't keep the promises you make to yourself, if you say, hey, I'm gonna go after this goal, I'm gonna work hard on business, and you don't, and subconsciously, that fucks with you, and it makes you doubt yourself more, right? But if you know, hey, I'm gonna go out, I have to say, you set a goal, it would win or lose, but you say you're going to follow these steps and go after 100% like and then do. Win or lose, you still have more. You, 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 it, it, what you will gain from that, even if you lose, is the ability to trust yourself in life. So that's what it means to me. You already had the trust, man. Thank you. I just followed you on, uh, on Snapchat, so thank you. Oh, yeah, thanks. He said he just followed me on Snapchat. Killer card of 187. You said you're launching a new product next month protein pattern. I, I would love to hear kind of what you experimented with market research and which proteins that, that your followers like, whether it's like mm -hmm. flavors or types of proteins. I'd love to hear kind of what that process was for you. Cool. Um, he actually, uh, we were coming out with the protein, he saw, saw us a Snapchat testing the flavors and stuff, and he asked me what would the market research was like. And I, I, I remember uh, Henry Ford said, if I asked my customers what they wanted, they ask for it faster or worse. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? Sometimes people don't want know, and as Steve Jobs once said, people don't know what, people don't know what they want to get to them. Right. You know? Right. Having that said, my friend owns a chain of supplement, uh, store, oh, supplement stores in, in New York. I said, hey, what flavor sells the most? He said, chocolate. I said, cool, we're gonna put out a chocolate flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they want me to keep going to somebody's late, so you. <laughs> oh, well, he said, he said, well, maybe you keep, keep quit rapping. He wouldn't pay me for it, man. And this is real shame, you know, because I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm like the Allen Iverson of rap, you know, I never got the ring. But I used to, I've opened, you know, I like, I, but I've opened for Kanye West, uh, Ludacris, uh, LL Cool J, but uh, but uh, no nah, man, he has me rap. Nah, man, I'm retired. I'm retired, man. I choose not to rap. I choose not to rap. So, uh, nah, I make the beats in my in my like I do the production and make the beats in my in my videos. That's just so I don't have to pay. Not out of any like love or anything, you know. Just so uh, it's fiscally conservative. So I haven't done that in weeks. All right, so we, I'm taking one more question. I heard a woman, I want to talk to her. <laughs> Stand up, baby, be her. <laughs> see her face. Who is it? Or was it a young man? <laughs> no? Bash, bash, I had that effect. That's an appropriate response. You stood up. So I'm, um, uh, I guess I need something on. Thanks for taking my question. Um, I heard you mention a team. Uh, do you currently have a team and when did you develop it? At what point as you were trying to build your business? 
All right. Um, well, first I built my business and my, my supplements. I mean, kind of on my own. Um, real, yeah, yeah. And I was moving, going for it. And one of my friends, uh, white boy Brian, y'all seen my videos. He was like, yo, uh, I like what you're doing, man. I want to recruit some I was like, all right, cool. Uh, and he kept like, with Brian, became my business partner. And then last summer, this, this kid here, Hassan, Hassan, the intern, he was begging me to be one of my interns. He said, I work for you for free. And I was like, no. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kind of like, bug me about it, bug me about it. And, and so I let him do it. But I said, you got to come to New York, and I don't do nothing. I need no money. And he said, uh, he said cool. And this dude, you know, I'm talking about this one. Tell you something about this one. This dude was sleeping on the floor in like the black ghetto of Brooklyn, right? And he was, he didn't have no money, so what he was doing, he was. He would buy waters from Costco and sell them on the street to make money to work for me for free. Then he started driving around escorts and stuff as well. Like he had no money, so then I started paying him when I found out. When I, but I'm saying sometimes you do what you got to do, like to, if, to accomplish your goal. And, you know, uh, he went back to school, but like soon, and I offered him like a, like a job, but I was gonna pay him like a good salary. Uh, to, to not go to school. <laughs> and he chose to go to school, but it's still waiting for him because I, I believe in him. Uh, and then after that, like, he made me, I learned, but he made me realize that kind of leverage. So I got a few more interns now, and we have about, we have about six employees, you know, some paid, some interning. Uh, Ty gave y'all a way to hire employees. Mine, he said, you better work for me for free for 90 days, 12, 14 hours a day. <laughs> then I might hire you. <laughs> All right, so I just told me the next speaker has arrived. <laughs> so uh, I'll give you the last one. Okay, the top one. Just where the, I got one more thing to show, man. I got one more thing to show. I'm get off the stage. I made that diamond dinners and such. Oh, all right, cool. All right, I'm saying get started, man. <laughs> like a lot of people, when I mean, like you ask me about YouTube, a lot of people say. Uh, a lot of people say, um, yo, I want to start a YouTube page like you, what do I do? I'm like, yeah, just start me with, let me see your page right now. He said, I got the right camera. I started with a flip cam, bro. <laughs> you have the phone and all in your pockets is better than what I started with. Right. You know, so just go for it. It doesn't matter, it's like, uh, the more, the, it doesn't matter. Start where you are with what you have and go all out, all right? Now I just want to show y'all some transformations. I got these people who went all out. These people going for it This guy sent me, uh, this guy sent me his uh, testimonial. This guy sent another one I got. I can just send that to me on Instagram. You know, it's B. Carter music, music, some field musician, right? And um, you know, she sent me this on Facebook. It's another one I got on Instagram. She said B. Carter music. <laughs> Bam, this guy, 60 pounds. <laughs> no joke. This fella, thank you. you know what I'm uh, and some you know, like grabbing mistakes more than that. <laughs> this guy, 45. 45. This is the 71. So if you want to change, go to change. <laughs> if you can that was a conservative enough. Changeyourbuckylife.com. <laughs> you know, you do you need, you don't do that. Physical goals, like, like you want to change your body, you lose weight, and or add muscle. Um, we got some free stuff. You can download and you can get similar results to people we had. All right. So thank you. Appreciate it. I ain't the smartest tie. Let me get over here, man. I ain't the smartest tie, man. I'm a fucking, I'm basically a fucking retard, man. But anyway, let's just say it again, say it again, say it again. No, so basically what I'm saying, you know, following your instructions, the right diet, you know, I lost 100 pounds about six or seven months just by being at home. You know, working out at home, doing a home workout. Going at home, doing my own business, you know, so it, it can be done. Now, nice, nice. show, show them again. You got to show oh, them again. Let me show you real quick. Recording. My dumb ass wasn't recording last time. Oh, <laughs> I have it right here. 
was me yeah. before and after, so I'm definitely yeah. ready now. Congratulations, hey. man. Congratulations, I, Congratulations, I got Carter. Ex <laughs> exclusively the only person I listen to for fitness advice. I put on 30 pounds of lean muscle. Damn, son. Results speak for themselves. Oh, man. My man Carter. Thank you so much, Roddy. Yes, thank you.